I think the biggest thing that we're doing wrong as management agencies, as hunters, is not listening to the experts. Uh, the experts, the, the first step in dealing with chronic wasting disease is to make sure that you don't get it in your area. And that involves don't bringing in live deer, don't bring in deer carcasses that are positively infected, don't bring in deer products that are positively infected. A lot of states are implementing laws with regards to interstate transport of deer and deer parts, and it's important that hunters follow those rules. They're inconvenient at times, but they're designed for the deer hunter and for the rest of the state. It's much less convenient for an entire state to deal with chronic wasting disease than it is for an individual deer hunter to have to deal with some of these rules. Step number two is what we're doing wrong is we're not following the state's regulations or we're not really assisting the states in their goals to reduce deer populations where CWD is present. Hunters need to participate in these. We need to take advantage of these extra seasons and shoot extra deer and that sort of thing to help states out. And number third is to participate with regards to their CWD testing. A lot of states have, have drop-off places where you can drop off deer heads and they can be tested. These surveillance measures are extremely important for states to be able to, if CWD does pop up, to detect it early and hopefully implement a management strategy that is effective in containing it or, or eliminating it. I think that there are, there's a situation with some hunters and in some areas where we're a little bit too cautious, that we start to believe these, these sensationalized news headlines about how horrible this disease is. It's not mad deer disease. It has not been detected in humans yet. I don't believe we should stop hunting. I don't believe we should stop consuming venison. Um, if we start being overcautious, you know, we, we not only lose the recreation that we enjoy, but we also are not contributing to the sustainability of the resource. Uh, the deer hunters are the tools for management. Uh, we need to continue deer hunting. We need to continue buying licenses, which, which is the money that's going towards management. We need to continue harvesting deer, and, and we should be consuming venison. We can get those deer tested so easily today, and those tests are so effective that we can consume, we can consume deer with 100% assuredness that they are CWD negative. Mm -hmm.